yep, so I know nothing about these games, so if you don't want surprise content, look away. Um, I can't speak to the content of it. It could be dark, it could be fun, um, it could be rude. Uh, what I'm already liking about this game is that it is clearly unapologetically like an LGBT, we're queer, we're here game. The rainbow flag on the side, um, always a pleasure to see. Uh, how good are rainbows? It's 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 unfortunate that it's become a little bit contested. I mean, I guess it's always been contested, but it's like the rainbow is for everyone because um, it's such a beautiful thing. So you should never feel like, you know, left out of the rainbow or host or the rainbow should never be hostile to you. That's to, like the one straight person watching this in the future. Um, we should give it a go. We should get started. I was doing so well until I had to get up and get the controller. This is my little off-brand, because they were two for one. So I got two controllers for the price of one on some sort of online web store, eBay, Amazon thing, I don't know what it is. And so to this day, I don't know whether they're real controllers or not. It doesn't help, I use it through Linux playing PC games, and so... <laughs> It, it doesn't always work with every game, and that, and that is back on me going, well, is it because it's like an off-brand controller? But it could be real. Let's, I've kind of talk it down, but it's always been super reliable. It's never let me down. All right. Oh no, something happened. What does this mean? What are all these icons? Okay, music up, music down. Save or load. Oh, window full screen. That's got to be exit. High score table. I don't know what the star thing is. Okay, let's do that. I think that means new game. Okay. Oh, great little sound effects. Um, okay, the name is Pink Takes Shape, and it's a queer game. So I'm kind of hoping it will be a sort of like you, you're sort of, you know, coming up with your own identity. Oh no. Okay, there's jump. The other thing is that I'm if it's a non-virtual novel, I'm going to be terrible at it. And talking and playing, I'm I'm really bad at. Okay, super cute, nice sound effect, no double jumps. Oh no, that's pretty responsive. I'm really quite interested in platform mechanics at the moment because I'm kind of tinkering with my own little one on the side at the moment. And I'm a bit like, what does it all mean? What makes a good platformer? You know, I I saw a really great. I either saw or read, or it was a Twitter scroll, or an animated GIF, or a little video, or a Reddit post about um, frame buffers on your jumping. So when someone presses the jump key, so when people try to jump off an edge, they may actually press the jump a little, like a fraction too late. So what you want to do is you actually want to give them a bit of a window um, just to make it feel nice, and use that using like a frame buffer of the inputs. And so if there's like an inputs registered like two or three frames after the jump, you still let them jump. So you can't just rely on like is touching ground, you know, for for that character. You have to kind of remember remember the a few frames either side. Let's go this way. I hope we can't die or else we're in a lot of trouble. Um, I love this dithering on the light effect. I guess that's like a shader. Um, I don't know how else you would do it. I mean I don't know how you do it with a shader, <laughs> but I'm led to believe you would do it with a shader. Um, ah, beautiful. I mean, if you're just here to watch someone competently play games, look away. If you're just looking for someone to just like bounce around for 20 minutes and then die, I'm your man. Is that is that acid? I want to say it's acid. Oh no, we're just getting wet. It's just water bouncing off us. Uh, how good is that? Do you think it's procedurally generated, these levels? Could be. Oh, oh. We're touching the sky, we're touching the sky. Okay. 
Can't do anything there. Oh no, we could go up there. Can we fire? No. What does that mean? Oh, is that maybe how we change shapes? Because the game is called Pink Take Shape. As I said, I'm kind of hoping this is like kind of really into the queer politics of identity and and everything. Oh. Penguin! I do love Penguin. Not just because I was into Penguins before I was into Linux, you know. Oh no! Do we follow it? That went swimmingly. Oh, so we've absorbed the Penguin. And now we can take the Penguin shape. Okay. That's so cool! This is actually a genuine game. Um, not to take away from the visual novels, I just mean it's like, there's so much to do, and uh, oh, we can fly as well! Oh, 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 we're underwater! Okay, I'm with you now. Oh, how good is that? Um, little rainbow umbrella. Can we go back to our regular blob? Okay. So the blob will get us through little areas. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought we could kind of jump. Oh, we, we're in our sliding mode. We can go a bit faster. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Hmm. Um. I mean, pe I think penguins are one of those animals that, like, um, conceptually, humans love. They're super cute. They've got a bit of a gimmick and that they, they don't fly, they swim. So they're birds that swim rather than fly. Um... They're not really in the Northern Hemisphere, so, you know, they're kind of exotic to a lot of people. Um, but we actually have penguins down near where I grew up, and they stink. They smell really bad. Um, and like all birds, they just kind of poo everywhere. So you kind of want to say they're cute, but I don't know. I don't want to mislead you. They're just birds. Really, like seagulls. Um, although, having said that, I'm 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 trying to not be mean to seagulls anymore. Like about them, it's not their fault. They're horrible, ugly, annoying creatures. Oh no! Uh oh, we died. Let's out. Oof! How do we get out? Oh, I know this thing's following us. Uh oh. Can we kill them? Oh man, I'm getting like... <sighs> it's competently made, but I'm not sure what the goal is. I don't, like, I, I know there's some sort of collect transformation things, right? But I don't know what like the, the in-level goal is. Oh no! Ah, can we ki can we kill you? Oh no! I think it freezes us for a moment. That's okay. I love the f I love the little flags. I don't really know my different rainbow. Fl oh, oops! I don't really know my different rainbow flags. Um, we're in the water. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. We can't do anything there. Uh, we need to transform. Yes, okay. Now let's jump over you. That'll freeze us for a minute. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. And then we're going to swim. Oh, how can we... Uh-oh. Oh no. 
There's nothing we we can't really go that way. We need to transform again. Um, I guess that means we go back this way, but there's going to be skeleton people. Um, I don't know what I was saying before I got distracted by the skulls, I'm afraid. Can we do anything here? No. Okay, we should have gone the other way. Oh yeah, I don't know what the sort of the goal of the game is. One of the problems of coming in um, completely not bothering to read anything is it's a bit... You can be a bit lost. I hope that's what I... I hope that was the thought. Because I feel like I was halfway through a thought and I didn't finish it. Um, oh, it was penguins? Oh, the seagull thing. Yeah, you know, the, like I, I do study seagulls quite intently whenever I'm like, you know, sitting down by the, the bay or the water or the river and there's some seagulls there. Because I'm like, are they beautiful birds? Because the noise is annoying. <laughs> but are they actually ugly birds, right? I mean, they've got squinty eyes. Their beaks are nothing to look at. Their feet are kind of interesting, but their legs are a bit oddly. Um, but I think maybe the fur is quite nice. Not the fur, the feathers. Like, they're actually kind of silvery, silvery white. Um, and I think, like, on another bird, that would actually be quite pretty. Are we going back the way we've come, or are we, like... Oh. Oh, it's the dead penguin that we killed. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll swim up and we'll go the other way. Okay. We'll go this way. Uh, yep. Um, yeah, so I think on another bird, a seagull would be quite pretty. Uh, the feathers. But on the seagull, it just doesn't work. But I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to not hold that against them. I'm kind of like... Because we've got, you know, we've got like lorikeets around here as well, and kookaburras, and everybody loves those. But like, does a lorikeet know it's not a seagull? Not really. Does a seagull know it's not a lorikeet? Not at all. Um, and they're both kind of opportunistic. I guess lorikeets and the kookaburras kind of leave you alone a bit more. I mean, that's the thing about seagulls, is they're really in your face. Um, oops, oh no, oh no. That's taking us right back to the start, I reckon. Oh. Uh, Oh no, uh, maybe not. Hmm. Down the shaft. Uh oh. Oh no. If that didn't take us down to the start, now we are. Can we go up there? No. Alright. It's a little bit snakes and ladders this game, I think. Nope, can't go that way. Can we go up this way? Oh, that's cute. A uh, little cave. Oh, right, we can do this. Um, now we went that way before. Okay, so we want to go down. But we don't want to fall. Oh. Oh no, we've come that way. We've been that way. No, I mean we can't go that way. We'll go this way. Trees, so we're on the land. Okay, we don't want to fall down the shaft. <sighs> oh. Um, yes, we did. I mean, we do want to fall down it. We'll go this way. This is just taking us back to the start, isn't it? <sighs> um. It's not the seagull's fault. Oh. That didn't go anywhere. I don't know if this is a new way or an old way. Uh, I think this is the old way. I recognise those purple, those brown blobs. I spent so much time talking about talking about penguins that I've kind of not got us very far into the game. Cool graphics. And it it's actually feels quite solid. It doesn't feel um, buggy or anything. Now this way. This way, this way, this way. To the ground. 
Um, can we, can our bird jump this? Ah, there we go. Okay. Maybe we're not supposed to turn back into... Okay, I think we're doing alright. We're about due for another animal, right? Like a bird or something. Yeah, a bunny rabbit! Okie dokie. Oh. We didn't get it. Uh oh. No. Nope. Oh. We come back? Oh. Maybe we're supposed to like jump on it or something. Well, if we can't get up there, we're in a lot of trouble. Um. We'll go back? Oh dear. I think we're supposed to somehow get that rabbit. Because the, the rabbit, I think, is what lets us jump up there. The seagull doesn't know it's ugly and annoying. To humans. Because imagine like a... Um, you know, some sort of... Ah, <sighs> beautiful bird comes up to you, like a magpie or something, and a seagull, and you've got a bit of food, and you're giving it to the magpie and not the seagull, and the seagull will be like, what did I do? What did I do wrong? It's like how dolphins, like to humans, look like they're smiling, and so we're like, we're always nice to dolphins, but some fish, or some shark, oh no! You know, but some fish or some shark is exactly this, doing the exact same behavior. And we're like, oh, don't want to know about it. But the dolphin, we're like, oh, our friendly dolphin friend, always smiling. It doesn't know that. Um, well, we said we'd give it half an hour. We've pretty much given it half an hour. I'll try it one, oh, uh, I'll try one more. Now I am lost. Because we've come down here. No, we don't want to go down there. Do we? No, that'll just take us back to the start. Um, let's transform into penguin. Okay. Oh, we've got to go back down to you. Oop. I hope you've enjoyed me just walking around the same room 50 times. Oh, yeah, that's that little area. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. Now we're on the shore. And we're looking for the bunny rabbit. Oh, no, we need to be penguin to get over that. Okay, let's transform back into you. In case you need to be the blob to... Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Oof. Okay, back to the blob. Come on, little rabbit. Nope. I like to think that one day the creator will be like, how did you even do that, Luke? You, you totally broke the game through your incompetence. Um, well, I'm going to put a pin in it there, because I think that the rabbit was a key, key point. And we did go the other way, didn't we? And we just got to a dead end because we couldn't go past it as the penguin. Um, or the blob. Um, and going down... Any of those holes just takes us back to the start. Ooh, let's not do that too often. Uh, but I love what I see. I mean, it actually feels like a complete, polished game. Um, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of, a lot of heart's gone into it. A lot of work, I mean. And a heart. Why not? Okay, we can't go back the way. So the only way back is to go down the hole, and we certainly don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I think we missed our window with the rabbit. I think that's that's pretty harsh. 
if that's indeed what has happened, that you only get one shot to like kill the rabbit or absorb it. Um, oh dear. It could be as simple as that we actually can make the leap, but I'm just not I'm just not good enough. No. Okay. Oh, oh, let's try and save it. Okie dokie. Um, that's going to quit. Back to the menu. There we go. Alright, that was Pink Take Shape. The very, very most basic. I think we got about three minutes into that. So that was a very unfair take on that game. I'll definitely come back to that at some point. Maybe not on stream, but... Um, yeah. Good looking game. I kind of do wish we got to the to like the meat of the game because I think with visual novel maybe you don't need to get to the meat so so much to get a feel for the game you know because um, like the characters can be drawn from the very start as in like the shape the outline of them narratively whereas I think with a with a game like this um, you definitely need to get three or four levels into it. All right, thank you for joining us here on uh, Penguins and Seagulls. Heck yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm still, I still haven't warmed up to Seagulls. I actually still don't like them. But as I said, that's on me. That's like my bias against those horrible, squawking, food stealing, trashy birds. But aren't all birds that? Like, have you ever met a bird that like, wouldn't go rummaging in your rubbish bin, or wouldn't take the food from your hand if it was hungry enough. Uh, I'll see you on the next video, or the next episode of Queer Games Heck Yeah. Bye.